Today on BRS TV, we have a BRS how-to on using red slime remover in your reef tank. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're going to attempt to remove cyanobacteria from one of the tanks here at BRS, including some day-by-day -day tank shots. Most of us have encountered cyan or red slime at one point, and there are a variety of ways to get rid of it. The best one I've found is to increase flow rates around the problem areas. Many reefers believe it's a nutrient-related issue. However, I've personally seen it in many systems which don't get fed at all, and I know don't have nutrient issues. So it's not surprising that the efforts to reduce nutrients are not always effective. I've also seen cyan react very differently to different light spectrums and intensities, so various lighting installations can absolutely be a cause as well. One thing I can say for certain is there doesn't seem to be a single cure which works in all cases, and it seems to be somewhat of a mystery. There are several products out there which claim to cure or remove cyano from the tank. I'd consider most of them a last resort only after you've attempted other methods like adjusting flow, lighting, feeding, and maintenance habits. If that doesn't work, it might be time to try something like this Ultralife Red Slime Remover. I have seen a lot of people use this product and it always helps. Sometimes solves the issue permanently and sometimes just knocks it back. As long as the directions were followed, I've always seen positive results. The directions state that you should mix one scoop full for every 15 gallons. This is a 16 gallon tank so it'll stick to one scoop. We just need to dissolve it in a small amount of tank water and add it to a high flow area of the tank. The product does state that it can result in lower oxygen levels and recommends the use of an air stone. If you don't own an air stone, just make sure you have plenty of water movement, particularly surface agitation, to promote increased gas exchange. You may need to add an additional pump to achieve this. The product also states add a second dose 48 hours later if needed. For this demo, we're going to go ahead and add both doses and show you the effects over five days. I'm pretty sure it'll be fairly dramatic and you won't see any negative impacts on the fish or corals. Okay, so I know we said we were going to add both doses, but when we looked at the tank 24 hours after the first dose, virtually all of the red slime was already gone, so the second dose seemed kind of pointless and we skipped it. This is what the tank looks like at five days. I can't tell you it won't come back, but it absolutely made a pretty dramatic difference. The tank looked shockingly better and there was no impact on any of the tank's inhabitants other than the bubble tip anemone, which moved because he didn't like the additional flow, but came back as soon as we removed the pump. One quick note, people often believe this product is an antibiotic like erythromycin, which is a common misperception. It even clearly states this isn't the case on the packaging. We have some guesses as to what the product actually is and how it works, but it's really hard to be completely sure. All I can definitively say is it seems to do the job. If you have any questions about this product or helpful tips for other reefers, check out the comments area down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we release two new videos every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.